Hey, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen. If you're new here, welcome in. I'm so glad you're here. Um, today, I'm gonna plan my July month in my Erin Condren Hourly Planner. So if you're interested, keep watching. Okay, so this is my um, Mid-Century Circles Layout Erin Condren Hourly Planner. Um, it starts in June because I ripped May out <laughs> and um, I, I purchased this planner to try out the hourly um, and so I only have it, it starts in June and it goes through December of 2022 and um, so this isn't one of the newer um, Aaron Condren designs. I do have my horizontal layout that you may have seen in one of my recent videos, but I am going to, I've decided to do all my stickering in this planner. Um, I sometimes get overwhelmed with stickers, and since I do the stickers as like a creative outlet, um, it's fine for me to not do it sometimes. Oh, and let's get into stickering up our July spread in this planner. So I am using this kit from Sweet Sticker Bliss. It's kit number 111. And I have some different sheets here. So let's look at what they are before we start laying them down. So I've got, this is the, um, the B sheet. And I think it's B if I'm remembering right, because I, I selected the undated version and then it comes with the months so that you can put your own month on there. And so I chose to use it for July. So I put the July month on there. Um, you can get it with the month already printed on there if that's your jam. So, I mean, you've got all your standard um, top washi, some thin washi, your date dots, and some functionals here, and then all your scripts. So like, this is enough to do, this one sheet is enough to do your whole month. But I also purchased like the sidebar sheet. This is sheet two. So we've got a sidebar. We've got like, I think these are meant for covering like the unused dates um, that don't fall during that month. You've got some more functionals and a couple of doodles, which is fun. And then of course you've got some washi, thin washi on the side. Um, so I'm also gonna try to do in this video my um, dashboard here. And actually this is a piece of paper, a checklist page from my plum paper. And I'm gonna pull that out. Um, this is a trick that I've seen a few planners do, but I was really inspired to do it when my friend Lena from Lena Patterson Plans um, recently showed in her one of her recent videos that she did it. And I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna try it because I like Franken planning and I really like these checklist pages for planning out my videos. Um, and so I just thought I would try it and I put it there. I don't think this is gonna live in that space, but I need to move it out of the way to do this. So I'm gonna do here, um, this is gonna be like a practice run for how I use it in my functional planner. Um, I want to see if I will use it this way, but this is gonna be like an inbox and this is gonna be like my dashboard. What is it called? Attending list. So I'm gonna try that in here. And so from Sweet Sticker Bliss, I got the dashboard sheets. This is also kit 111. This is um, FBA and FB3. So these match up with your different boxes here and whatnot. So um, I'm actually going to use the habit tracker in here. And then we've got all kinds of little, oh, this says June on it. I don't know why it says June on it. I guess I didn't check. <laughs> I don't need it to say July. Um, and I'm, I can just use that June elsewhere um, next year or something. I just noticed that um, I didn't ask for it to say July, I think, because this was a June kit, it just automatically came with June. So that's all. I think that's what happened. The other stickers I have here, I've got just some functionals from the weekly kit listing because I really like functionals. I prefer to write on these and then stick them in the planner instead of writing directly on the page sometimes. Um, 
these are, this is the vertical sheet. Um, it's the vertical checklist and then it's got a bunch of functionals. This is kind of why I buy this sheet and um, a couple of shops offer like a format similar to this. And I typically, I like it just for the extra functionals. I don't always use the check boxes. And then of course this is not a vertical, so these aren't gonna line up, but the sidebar ones, I think will line up here with the, um, with these lines maybe, I'm not really sure. But we do have seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven check boxes on here. And I actually might use them horizontally in this section. Um, and I'll get to that when we start planning that page. So let's get into this because if I keep talking, it's going to take forever to film this video. And I also don't want the video to be that long. So let's get started. Um, of course, I've got to turn the planner upside down. I don't know why we're like this, but us planner people always turn the planner upside down. I think it's just so we can see, especially when you've got like a camera like in the shot, like in your face. Um, okay. So we're gonna line this up. And of course, it's, I think I'm over. Yeah, I'm over just a little bit. And then you can see that line, and so that's gonna bother me. This is the hardest part, I think, of laying down stickers is like the monthly um, washi because it's so big. Let's try to do it sideways. Maybe upside down isn't the move. Okay, but if I do it this way, then I can't line up if it's, <laughs> if it's right side to side, if that makes sense. Okay, no. I think what I need to do is I need to put it down where I can't see that black line and then I will know that we have cleared the top. Oh, and look, I'm putting the sticker right on the coil. Oh, geez. And it's gonna show through as well, the mid-century circles design. Hmm. I'm tempted to not even use this. I really like it. Um, I like how it looks like glitter, but what if I use all the other little pieces and don't use this? Is that even, no, because it won't match the mid-century circle. So if this was like a pink or more of like, okay. I need to stop talking and just put this down. All right, okay, this is just gonna have to be good enough because I'm not gonna pick this back up again. So yes, there is some show through. No, it doesn't bother me. I've said this before, my planner is not gonna go in a museum. And even if it was, who cares? Like, come on. Okay, so that's one side of it down. <laughs> now I need to do the other side or we're gonna look very lopsided. Um, can I do this? Come right here. Why did this one go down so much smoother? Like what, what is the difference between this side and that side? Okay, so this is probably a bad idea. You can, you can really see that mid-century circles through there. But honestly, I'm not gonna white all of that out. Like that's a lot of white out. And it's gonna look fine. It looks fine. Let's leave it, okay. So we're back in frame here. Um, we've got, I'm not gonna do the date dots. I don't do date dots. Um, this isn't a Monday start, so there's no reason to not use the dates that are already printed on the paper that I paid for. Um, if I was gonna do that, I could just use a blank undated, like, yeah, I don't, I don't do that. It, plus it's too busy for me. Um, I can save these date dots to use later. I can also use them on the side to like denote certain dates. Um, there's different ways to use them so they don't go to waste. So um, we've got two happy birthdays. And I was thinking we should put my birthday, which is July 20th. Um, I'm thinking I wanna put it right in the middle, but I, I'm gonna use, okay, I'm gonna use this this one because this is close to my favorite color and I'm gonna put let's do it in yellow because there's more contrast um, I'm just gonna put happy birth now I was gonna use the big one um, and there's okay here we've got balloons and we've got a little cupcake so we can just I'm not even gonna write on here I know that it's my birthday um, 
I'm just gonna do happy birthday and I'm gonna use the little um, doodly doos here to put the balloons. I'm gonna need my tweezers because these are teensy tiny little doodles. Look how tiny. They're so small. Okay. Um, balloons up here. Balloon here. And cupcake. You know, other people have birthdays in July, but I get to have all the birthday stickers. It's my planner, I do what I want. All right. And we're gonna just put that right in the middle. Nothing else is happening on the 20th because it's my birthday and the world stops because of my birthday, right? I'm totally joking. I hope y'all know I'm kidding. I am not, I am not that self-absorbed. I'm just being silly. Okay. All right, so we have a lash appointment and I'm gonna write that. You know what, I do have my handy little book here and I have a couple of lash appointment stickers left. I need to order some more. Um, this is from Orange Umbrella Co. In the description, um, there is a coupon code you can use because I am on their PR team. So there's that. Let's do, because we use the teal, let's do a different color. Let's do this blue, and we've got this blue as well, but that's a little, I think that's too big. I'm gonna order some more um, custom scripts. That say lash appointment in the font that I like. And this, I have one more, so I need to order those quick. I'm gonna order, Lash appointment and some other um, things. So I have some notes here in my sidebar that I have some points expiring that I need to use up. Play store points and Sephora points. I don't know, I think, I'm not sure when they expire, they just expire and so that's something I need to do this month is make sure I use them. But like this one, they expire on the 7th. So I need to really be sure that I am using that up. So let's write that on. I'm gonna do these yellow ones and I'm just gonna write Play Store and Sephora. And I'll know what that means, I hope. Um, let's see. Play Store, Sephora. The Play Store is on the seventh. And maybe in the sidebar, I can just write points expiring. And then, yeah. Sephora points, I don't know what day they expire, so I'm not really sure what day to put that on, but maybe I can just put that, why don't I put that up here on this like non-July date? Um, and then I can look that up. And I can either move it because these are repositionable or I can just spend them. <laughs> okay, so those are done. Um, my next lash appointment will happen in one, two, on, it's gonna be on Thursday the 4th because I always do three weeks on the following Thursday. So I'll just put that there because I will need it for next month. Okay, so, so far, you know, we got the bare bones things down. We are planning, we're getting it done. Um, I don't have anything else that I need to put here. I don't track our budget or you know bills or anything. I don't need to put paydays on here. It's summer, so I'm not gonna use any no schools. Um, I can do the important and put that on that sidebar. Do I wanna put the sidebar sticker down? That is a lot. I think what I can do is not use the sidebar and then I can use all these extra pieces of washi and stuff and use that later somewhere else. Or I can use it on um, the inbox here. So I'm not gonna do that, um, but I am going to use a little header thing and I'm gonna put, let's use a yellow one. 
And here, I'm gonna lay it right here while I put this important on there. Right? Does that fit? It just barely fits. Important. And then I can put important right here. And then I can use one of these to write points expiring. Points expiring. There. And then we'll just set that right here. I write with that juicy gel pen, so I try not to tap it right away in case it smears. Um, I don't have, I was gonna be traveling this week. Um, but that we had to cancel. Um, that was the TPC convention. I can't make it to that anymore just because of some scheduling conflicts with my husband's work. And so I need to be home. So I can't go to that anymore. So we don't need to add that. I'm assuming you will come home for my birthday. <laughs> I don't know. We haven't planned that far in advance yet. Um, we've got some things going on at the farm that need to be taken care of, which is why he's got to be there instead of coming home so that I could go on a trip, which is fine. It happens. I mean, I'm bummed I can't go, but you know, that's how life is. It's okay. Um, so I'm sure he will come home so we can celebrate my birthday at some point. And I think that's it. We don't have anything else. I do need to make an appointment for my son's vaccines, he's going into middle school and that's about the age where you gotta get a couple of new vaccines you haven't had yet. And so I think what I will do is use, I could use one of those yellow ones again, but I haven't used any pink boxes. So let's use a pink, that's too small. I'm gonna have to use one of these or one of these. Um, I'm gonna write, LT Vax appointment. Ooh, this is not gonna fit. Oh, it barely fit. Okay, and then I'm just gonna use the little stethoscope dude doodle because I have it. And I'm just gonna let's wait, let's use that whenever we get the box down and then I'll layer it that way. Um, so I definitely need to make that appointment. School starts early in August and I want to have all that done and taken care of so we're not doing anything at the last minute. We also need to go school shopping but I, I don't know. I'm not looking forward to that. We're going to have a lot of spending happening. <laughs> okay, um, I didn't really leave room for like of this doodle to happen, so we'll just stick it there. Okay, all right. Um, this looks like a boring month. Um, we do have um, things going on, so let me pull up. I do want to, I can put my videos in here. I do a plan with me every Monday, um, and I do have videos scheduled to go, like not filmed and scheduled and ready, but like in my like content scheduling uh, stuff, I have videos that I wanna get up on these days as well. So, um, and then the last week of the month is always like my sticker kit lineup is on the Wednesday and then my plan with me for the following month is on the last Friday.
I just smeared that by touching it. Okay. Um, okay, I think that's all I'm going to put. As I schedule videos, I will put them on here. But, um, oh, actually this one is the video you're watching now, so I can put that on there. Let's do that on this teal one. Um, we'll put July, plan with me. We'll put our little icon. I should do the icons first so that I know how much space I have to write with, but. You know, I didn't think of that, so I didn't. And I need to be careful because I smeared that one, so. Let's. Let's be careful and just use this. Okay, all right. Okay, so that's it for the month. Um, let me see. I'm looking at my calendar on my phone because I can't live without my calendar on my phone. Um, I wanted to put, I can come back after we do this page because there's some things that are gonna happen on those pages that I can schedule on this page. So let's do it that way. So this is how we wanna use this page. I want this to be like attending list. If you're familiar with Cultivate What Matters, they have their power sheets and they have attending list. Um, I want to, use this, this page in that way. Um, and I kind of have an idea how to do it, and this is the first time I'm trying it, so in reality it might not actually work, but we're gonna see. We all see, okay. Um, I think I got it, I think I got it. We know I was having trouble lining up the stickers before, but I think this is good. Okay, so this we wanna put the actual habit tracker on. Ooh, and we're gonna be right next to the coil, so maybe I should wait and um, write my habits on here first, which wouldn't make sense to do since you don't know what this page is for yet. So what I wanna do here, this box is gonna be like our goal, our main goal for the month here. And then this is gonna be some action items that we can check off that support that goal. And that, those will be like individual things that I need to do throughout the month. This box is going to be um, anything that I can do during each week that support that goal. So this is gonna be like one-off things. This is gonna be things that recur each week. And then this will of course be like the daily habits. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Um, and so what I wanna do is write on here, actually I'm gonna put this down and then I'm gonna write the habits on like, or I'm gonna write stuff on here on the little stickers, so. I think if I just line this up, it should go all the way across. That one was very painless. Um, I think these go over, so there's only one more box. There's not one that fits this box, but I think that's what like these are for and you cover up that line with that, I think. So let's. Let's do it. Can you see what I'm doing? Am I too far down? I feel like I'm not doing a good job because I haven't filmed in so long. Um, so I'm sorry if this video is like all over the place or something. I, um, I got in like a really good groove with filming before I left and then I came back and now I'm like, this is like the first plan with me I've done. That's slightly crooked, but am I, am I gonna fix it? I, obviously I'm gonna fix it. Anyway, this is the first plan with me that I've done since I've, it's been a while. And so I'm kind of like out of my element, I feel like. Um, so yeah. Do I want to cover this? Because remember, I don't have a July. The blue is pretty dark. Uh, does it matter? Do I need to know that it's July? I, mean, I kind of know that it's July. Why don't I just cover it? Uh, 
And I'm trying to get it right up next to that sticker. Okay, that's cute. It matches this and it looks like it goes there. So I was gonna do a no spend for July and that was gonna be my goal um, because I just, I don't know, I just wanted to kind of rein in some spending. Groceries are expensive, gas is expensive. You all know, I don't have to tell you that. So I was thinking, oh, what if I do like a low spend, no spend kind of situation? But then I realized, wait a minute, school starts August 10th, which means in July, I'm gonna be shopping for school clothes and school supplies. Um, you know, there's a lot of expenses. He's gonna need new shoes, lots of new shoes, lots of new clothes. I don't even know what we're gonna have to do as far as school supplies going into middle school. I don't know if we need to buy him a laptop or what. I have no idea. I have not received any information. I don't know if the school provides those. I don't know if he needs an iPad. I have no idea. No clue, no clue. So I didn't wanna rope myself into doing a no spend, low spend if I was gonna be hit with all these expenses in July. So instead of that, we're just gonna enjoy summer. We tend to get in this rut where we're doing things we like to do, but we kind of stick to what's comfortable, right? And so then we, we realize, and like I'll use an ex a weekends for an example, we'll get to like Sunday night and feel like, wait a minute, we didn't do anything this weekend. <laughs> and we, want, we, you know, we have all these plans and dreams and things that we talk about doing and then we go through a whole weekend just kind of going through the motions and we don't do the things we want to do. So this is like our last few weeks. I say a few weeks, it's how, how many weeks is it? We've got one, two, three, four, like five weeks left before we, like school starts. So we're gonna use these five weeks to do things we wanna do during the summer. And so we have discussed things that we wanna do. And so um, we're gonna just try to enjoy the summer. So I wanna write that on, let's use this yellow. And then um, I'm gonna write, let me move this out of the way. We just want to write, um, enjoy the summer. Okay, so that's our main goal for the month. And I realize there's a lot of lines on this page and I should have maybe written it there. However, the coil was there and I didn't want to deal with it. So we're writing it on a sticker. Enjoy the summer. And I might go back and add some stickers there if I have any deco stickers that work. And um, the reason why, um, I was gonna write that here, but I'm gonna write that after the fact. Um, I wanna write like our own little memories, I think there, and like what we did, like, how we enjoyed it, you know? And so that obviously hasn't happened yet. Yes. These are four things that we can check off, kind of like a little mini bucket list, I guess you could say. Um, and so those are going to be, um, we want to go to a water park. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to write those on stickers or not. Before, if I need four of the same color. I can do it on these stitched ones. So let's do that. I know it's a little weird, but I have the stickers, so I wanna use them. So we're gonna do water park. And then um, we do wanna go to the movies. We do like to do at home movies, but we wanna go like have pop corn and like see something on the big screen. We haven't done that since before, you know what? So um, let's do movies. And um, some other things we talked about, we've been wanting to go to like a zoo or an aquarium or something to see some animals. We did go to SeaWorld at the end of May and we saw some animals there. So I'm thinking zoo instead of aquarium. Gosh, it's so hot though, I don't even know. The Houston Zoo is great. Um, yeah, let's write zoo. 
we've talked, we have a bigger list of things we want to do and that's where I'm getting these from. But I'm kind of deciding in the moment which ones we're going to do in July. <laughs> Zoo and um, beach. Okay, so I've got our four things that we want to do and I didn't even think to check if these are going to fit here. <laughs> Okay, they should fit just fine. So we've got zoo, beach, movies, I think these are a little crooked. I'm going to have to fix them when I can get all up in them and look at them. water park. Okay, and then we can put those dots. Let's use these ones. Where's my tweezers? Tweezers make it easier. I don't want the pink one because the pink is right there. I'm going to use the yellow and the blue and then I'm going to get the yellow and the blue. Oh, these are smaller. Maybe I should use the smaller ones. Okay. Blue, yellow, blue, yellow. There we go. So those are things that we can schedule for the month. We can go back and schedule them in um, as I get closer. I'm not sure what they would be this week at this point in time. I don't know what they would be, um, but we can put monthly goals. Should we just put goals or monthly goals? Oh, I can put memories here. Um, let's do that. Let's use one of these. Does this fit there? I don't know why these don't fit. <laughs> I mean, they don't go with the, the kit, but I don't know why the, the scripts don't fit on the headings that, the little header things, I don't know. They're obviously not meant for that, but we'll put memories there. And then I can fill that in with some memories. Um, I was gonna do this one, I was gonna say monthly goals. And we can just put that right here. Okay, and then these are just going to be regular goals. Um, so I'll just put the regular goals on that. So these are things like going to the library because we can do that every week, right? And I said I was gonna use those checklists. Where'd they go? So what I wanted to do here, um, I wanna use these checklists and there's what, how many weeks in July? We're not gonna count the first week. So we've got one, two, three, four full weeks in July. And so I can cut these and use the, um, just to mark off each thing. And so like pool, library, and movie, like watch a movie. So we can do pool, library, and movie, I think. And so let's write those three things. We need like the skinny ones if I have any left. We're gonna have to use these pink ones, these pink stitched ones, oh no, here. We can use these three green ones. So we're gonna write Pool, movie night, and library. Because those are also things that we enjoy that are things that are kind of like more low key that we can do um, I think, yeah. They're like low key things that we can actually do like on a weekly basis. Do 
I want to like yeah I want to move this one here and then I'm going to put those little checklists I'm going to cut them and put them there Okay, checklist, and I need my little scissors. I'm gonna use these Cricut scissors because they're there. And, and so I've got one for each week in July, right? And I can check them off as we do them. It's really hard to line this stuff up um, when you have a camera over your head because I'm like being really mindful of um, not getting my hair in the shot and covering everything up. Oop. All right. Oh no, maybe I should be using my tweezers. Okay, how does that look? So pool, movie night, library, and then I can check them off as they happen. What would be really cool is if I was really like, I don't know, with it, <laughs> I could use each color of these check boxes for each week. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna do that, but that might be an idea for somebody. Okay, so now on the habit tracker, I wanna write onto the rat, the hab I was gonna say the rabbit tracker. I'm gonna write onto the habit tracker the things that we can do on a daily basis. Um, we have a couple of things. Um, we want to um, read 30 minutes a day. Well, let's do walk. So we want to walk, we want to read, and I'm just going to put 30 because I don't have room to write 30 minutes. Um, some other things we can do is make sure we're cooking at home and um, I mean, I don't know. We like this, that's, that's what we will do anyway. Like, you know, we like to watch YouTube and play video games. We're very low key. So like there aren't, there's like way too many things here to like be habits for us to enjoy the summer with. I can also put like your typical habits you wanna work on like you know, making your bed and stuff like that, but that doesn't support the habit of enjoying the summer. And that's kind of what I wanted to use this page for. So, and also I'm not a habit tracker. Like I'm not, I don't need to track if I made my bed, you know? I don't know why it doesn't work for me. Um, I know that I made my bed and that's all I need to know. Like it doesn't, seeing it checked off doesn't do anything for me. Um, so anyway, yeah, let's do that. Oh, that did get on. Oh, I thought I lined it up good enough, but apparently I did not. I'm just trying not to rip it. I thought it would go as smoothly as those other ones did. Oh, goodness. Do y'all have this much trouble? Do you have this much trouble putting these big stickers down as I do? I never use these habit tracker stickers, but. Okay. Okay, I think we did it. <laughs> All right. So that is my enjoy the summer dashboard. <laughs> And then all over here, this page is just gonna be an inbox. Um, oh, I can put this little habits in here, can't I? This teensy tiny little script. I think these are slightly too small. Um, yeah. There we go. Okay. They're like too small for this but I think the white 
is maybe a little bit too big around it, and so they stick off of here. I don't know, I'm just being picky. Um, and I don't think I need any more of those. I can put the this month here. Um, let's put it on something because layering is fun and we have the stickers, so why not use them? I have one more of these. Should I put it like here? I need to move that one over. I think that's a little um, off center this month. Enjoy the summer. And let's move that over. And then I'll put the memories here. I might even take a picture and print it out and put it there um, instead of writing in. I, I don't have one of those little photo printers, but I have like a regular printer and I have photo paper. <laughs> I can just cut it. Um, okay. So there's that. I like it. I like the colors. Um, it's a lot of stickers for one page, but it's gonna work. Um, okay, and then, so this is the inbox, and I don't really have a plan for this. This was literally just going to be a checklist. Right. Um, we can say to schedule to contact and I can just say errands. No, I can say to go. I don't know why it has to be like to do this and to that, but someone started it at some point and now we're stuck with it, aren't we? Okay. Here we go. So that's that. It's just basic. Um, I have all this space here as well, and so I can use this for other things. Like I can put this here. Oh, I just dropped my slice tool on the floor. Like I could put like this here with any like, uh, just important notes. I can just write notes here. Um, I don't need to have it like set up. Like this is good enough, I think. Um, I'm, I'm not sure I need any of these other stickers for now. I'm, what I'm gonna do is keep these handy, all these like functionals for when I schedule things like this. Okay, so anyhow, I really like this kit. I love the colors. I love that it looks like glitter. Um, the glitter effect on this is done very well and it actually does look sparkly. So I like it. I think that this kit will look really great with August because it's yellow and so if you wanted to get the kit to use for next month, I think it would go great with any of your August spreads. Um, the August tab matches. <laughs> so there you go. Okay, well I filmed that whole plan with me and then I realized that I added, I had a lot more stuff to add. So um, I figured I should probably show that to you because you know, that's the point of the plan with me. And at this point, because it's been a couple of days, I can't remember what I, had um, on here before I added things. So here's just an overview. I'm pretty sure I added like the TPC sale and some like planner time and just a couple of other things. Um, I don't know if I had the tennis camp on there or the F1 races. Um, there's just, yeah, there's a lot of things. Um, I don't think I had this. I think I added this. I wrote in some more things on my little inbox side here. Um, this was the sidebar sticker that is supposed to go like right here. Well, I didn't wanna use that just because I like the white 
in the background and we already have a lot of color going on and so I used it here just to write down the pool hours and the library hours for this month because I'm always looking those things up. The library hours don't change but I always forget them and I have to look them up but the pool hours have changed since last month so. Um, I also changed this was like a spot that I had like memories like to to fill in memories but then I realized I needed a space to write down the movies we wanted to watch um, for our movie nights this month um, and uh, so I changed that. We're trying to get through all the Marvel movies so that we can watch the final Spider-Man movie. And we also want to watch Doctor Strange. So we, we need to get through the other movies, which we actually watched um, Shang-Chi last night. Um, and then uh, I did add some more habits to the habit tracker, even though I said I wasn't going to. And I may not fill this in. I don't know. I'm not really a habit tracker but um these were these habits at the top are really meant to like support my goals for the month um and these habits at the bottom are just habits i'm trying to kind of get back into they were things that i never really needed to track before and i don't think i need to track them now but um it's things that i'm trying to make sure i'm doing every day like if i do these four things like i feel like a little bit better about the way things are going in my house. Um, so anyway, those were the changes I made. Um, I just added some more things as I thought of them here. Um, and yeah, I think I added just like a couple of events. Um, I might take this blue washi off. It's a little bit too um, busy for me. It's supposed to mark which weekends are um, Formula One race weekends. Um, but I don't know, I think it's too busy. It's like every single weekend, so I don't think I need it there. But anyhow, um, I added in the videos that I didn't have planned yet when I filmed the last time when I filmed the plan with me for this. So those that's what's different as well. And I just did, um, this video is really on Wednesday, but there was no room on Wednesday because I put all my birthday stickers there. So I just put it there with a little arrow from Orange Umbrella Co. Anyhow. Um, that's it for me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe on your way out. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.